sucks saying goodbye, man. Absolutely sucks saying goodbye. Just left uh, the local church I was a part of, saying my saying my goodbyes. Um, but it's time to go. God is calling me elsewhere. You know, I, I've basically lost everything physically. My toilet, shower, ID, my car, which is my source of income. Um, but you know what I gained? I gained a stronger spiritual connection with God. And that's what truly matters most. You know, I moved to this island with, with like a million dollars, basically. <laughs> the plan was to get a house, to where my family could come visit, to where, you know, friends could come over and, you know, I could just park my investment gains in a real estate property. It's just the, the entire reason I came out here. I wasn't able to do it. But what ended up happening is I connected closer to God than I've ever been before. And you know, in the moment it's hard to like accept the fact that you lost everything, like all the physical material possessions. But at the end of the day, that's just carnal. You know, God says, do not store up treasures on this earth, but store up treasures in heaven. So that's what we're gonna focus on fully now. You know, it sucks. Um, with a lot of bad things that happened to me on this island, you know, I got attacked a couple times. Um, I didn't meet my wife. You know, I thought I was like, I was gonna meet my wife, like the first week there. And then we're just gonna like go from there. Like, you know what I mean? I thought I was like gonna fall in love with my soulmate and all that and just have a nice romance on the island. None of that happened. <laughs> I didn't become a millionaire. I moved here with like $800,000. So I was thinking like, oh, this market's gonna keep moving. I'm gonna get a million, two million, three million. I'm gonna give my family money. I'm gonna give, uh, help a lot of the homeless here. Um, man, it's just crazy how much plans I had that was like in motion. That was just like, it was destined to happen, I thought. But, you know, what actually ended up happening is what's God's plan. God's plan was destined, not my plan, it turns out. Because now, <laughs> you know, you can call it the devil, you can call it God, whatever. It all got taken away. Now, I can't sit here and say, oh, it was, it was the devil that took it away, that thief. Or it was God that took it away because of his bigger plan. The point is, at the end of the day, God's in control of everything. Even if Satan rules this world, God is ultimately in control and Satan loses. He loses the spiritual battle ultimately. So what can I do? I can fight this battle spiritually and I cannot worry about the physical or the carnal failures that I may have experienced. Because think about it this way. Is it really a failure if you connect closer to God? The answer is no, <laughs> it's a success. Even if you lose everything like me, I lost everything. $850,000. It's all gone. It's, it's basically all gone. I lost my, my income, you know, to supplement the that investments that I had and to add to more investments. The car just broke down, so I don't have a car anymore. And then it cost $3,000 just to ship it out here, so there's no way uh, I'm gonna ship it back. And the engine's broken down anyway. That's another five or 6,000. And it probably needs more repairs. It's probably like $10,000 that I don't have, that I need to basically continue what I was doing. So what that tells me is I'm just simply not meant to do that anymore. I'm meant to start my new journey. And you know, even though Hawaii just didn't go 
according to plan. Um, you know, I just, I have to keep telling myself that the bigger purpose has begun. My true purpose is not to be some millionaire. My true purpose is not to be some financial advisor. Like on my channel, I was gonna have a bunch of like financial videos. I was gonna write a book, like how I became a millionaire at age 25. I had all these plans, but guess what? None of these plans matter because they weren't God's plan. What truly really matters is what's God's plan. And God's plan, God's purpose is far more greater, far more significant than mine ever could be. Now for me, I had good intentions to do with, uh, to share the money that I was making to help others. But it doesn't matter what my intentions were. What matters is where my heart truly is. And you can say, oh, your intentions are pure, but you're still smoking weed every day. You're still fornicating every day. You're still uh, putting uh, God, uh, money over God. It's either God or money. You can't, you can't love both. For you'll hate one and love the other. So I basically, I basically had a love for money. Now, like I said, even though my intentions were to be generous with that money, it's just, I've, I've wasted years, years chasing money. And guess what? I lost it all anyway. <laughs> so that's what it tells me, you know what you can't lose? Once you gain it, wisdom. You don't lose wisdom. Once you gain wisdom, you attain it. You have wisdom and you teach others about that wisdom. When you get money, you can lose it all. And that's the significance of the Bible, is when it talks about storing up treasures on this earth. You can store up treasures on this earth, which is exactly what I was doing, or you can store up treasures in heaven. Which is more valuable to yourself and to others is the second, is storing up treasures in heaven. Because with money, yeah, I may be able to have helped other people with that money. But once again, it all comes down to the carnal versus the spiritual. If I, it's like teaching somebody to fish or giving them a fish. To me, giving somebody money, that's just giving them a fish. But giving them <laughs> the word of God, giving them the spiritual truth. That could, that could teach them how to fish <laughs> in terms of relevancy and, and how long it lasts. Spiritual eternity, salvation, it lasts forever. God's word is, is eternal, it lasts forever. So that, that's the focus now. Look at that, the sunlight, I'm like, oh man, it's hard to say goodbye, man. As, as bad luck as I've had on this island, as, as bad of an experience I've had, I just gotta keep telling myself, spiritually, it was a lot more significant than physically. But my focus was all physically, my focus was financially. So when I lost everything at first, it was starting to like really depress me and frustrate me. And I was getting angry and confused at God, like why are, why did you take everything from me? Or why did you let the devil take everything from me? Or just why did I lose everything in general? But the reality has become clear that it's not about the money. My experience here on this island, it may have been like a zero out of 10, like, like financially, romantically, physically, whatever. But it was a 10 out of 10 spiritually and that's what truly matters. What truly matters is spiritually. Now, did my original plan completely fail? The Hawaii plan. Dude, I'm gonna move to Hawaii and I'm gonna get a, uh, a mansion out there and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna help so many people financially. I'm gonna help my family. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna have so much fun. I'm gonna get a nice Corvette C8. I'm gonna get a mansion right on the beach. Well, none of that ended up happening. It did not go according to plan. I ended up losing everything. But I gained my soul. Why gain the world and lose your soul? That's basically what happened to me. I gained the world, I, I got rich. And then right when I moved here, the plan was just to continue that wealth, continue that, that journey. But then something more significant happened. I lost the world, but I gained my soul. So you may have heard, why gain the world and lose your soul? That's right, <laughs> that happened to me. But what then happened? Why gain the world and lose your soul? Then what happened? I lost the world and I gained my soul. And not only did I gain my soul back because I lost my soul, I literally lost my soul. How much sexual immorality I was, I was, deep into it, drug usage, it, just greed. That's what really chasing all this material possessions is. It's, it's just greed and it's putting, it's idolatry, it's putting money over God. I was chasing all that. And in reality, I should have been chasing God all along. But that's what's happened. I've connected closer to God than I've ever been in my life. And not only that, I think I found my true purpose which is not to be some successful financial person. My true purpose is to be successful in bringing others to God, bringing others to the truth and spreading the truth, which is the gospel, the good news, the most credible writings in history, which is the New Testament, the Old Testament, the Bible. So that's what my purpose is moving forward. The Hawaii experiment failed. It absolutely failed what my original um, plan was. But remember, regardless of what your plans are, God has bigger plans for you. And if I had to lose everything, because once I <laughs> moved to this island, it was like I lost everything. But then I'm really realizing I didn't lose my soul. In fact, I gained my soul because of all that stuff I was caught up in. I, I just, I lost my soul. And then not only did I gain my soul back, I now know my true purpose. And I can thank only God for that because he's the only thing that went well on this island. You know, romantically, financially, all of that just didn't go according to plan. But the most significant thing that did happen here, which is connecting closer to God, that went perfectly um, according to God's plan. So um, that's what the focus is gonna be moving forward, is just on God. And if I had to lose everything to, to learn that lesson and to realize my true purpose, so be it. It is what it is, it's God's plan. It's, it's God's purpose is more significant and bigger than mine. So I would say my, my Oahu experience, if I'm focused on the carnal and I'm focused on the physical, um, it was not that great of an experience. It was, it was disappointing, it was a letdown. I would say it's zero out of 10, not even being like, like super pessimistic, it's, it's just being honest. It was not the best experience. But then when I focus not on the carnal, but on the spiritual, it clicks to me that, wow, this was the greatest time ever <laughs> because I tapped into my true purpose. And I think there's gonna be no better, more fulfilling feeling than pursuing God and continuing to go down that path and help others learn the truth because I believe that is my, my true purpose. So I say spiritually, it's, it's a 10 out of 10. Physically, maybe a zero out of 10, not the best experience, 
but fi uh, spiritually, it's a 10 out of 10. All praise to God. So God bless everyone. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I lost all that money and, and lost my car, lost my job, lost my income, got robbed, got attacked. A lot of things happened. But what happened that's more important than all of that is gaining my soul and gaining the understanding of what my true purpose is, which is to be a warrior, an evangelizer for Jesus Christ. And at the end of the day, if I had to lose everything, a million dollars, my car, income, I had to go through these, these struggling bad experiences, so be it, it was all worth it because spiritual treasures and treasures in heaven are far more valuable than physical material uh, treasures on earth. That's just the truth. And stay tuned to continue more of the truth. I'm not gonna be on this beautiful island for much longer, only a couple more days. But I think my lesson was learned that the spiritual realm is far more important than the physical. Although this physical environment is beautiful, nice weather, whatever, if God needs me in the freezing cold, connecting closer to him and, and being on my true purpose, so be it. That's what I'm gonna do. Follow Jesus for all the days of my life. So farewell, Hawaii. Not what I expected at all, but God's plan is much bigger. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and he will give you the desires of your heart. So take care. Goodbye, Hawaii.